everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a kawaii goat charm using polymer clay. So let's get started. So begin by taking the colour that you would like to use for your goat. I'm using white and we're going to start by making the head by rolling it into a ball and then just gently pinching one part to make the face longer. Once you've done that, we're going to be making the ears. So take two balls of your clay and you'll want to pinch these into teardrop shapes. Also do the same with a smaller piece of pink clay and then you can go ahead and position this pink clay on top of the white clay. You'll then want to trim off the bottom so that we're left with a flat edge and this is where we're going to be attaching them onto the head. So just position them where you would like them and then you can blend them on with one of your tools so that they're nice and secure. Next I'm making some little horns for my goat. So I took some tan coloured clay and I'm just rolling it into two balls and then into a little cone so that they have a point. Next I'm just trimming off the rounded end with my blade and then positioning them onto the head just in front of the ears. Now it's time to go ahead and make the face. So I firstly created two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in two balls of black clay. I made a mouth by creating two thin new shapes out of clay and then placing them together. And then I also attached on a little triangle nose as well as some balls of pink clay on either side of the eyes for the cheeks. Then for the body, you wanna take some more of your base color and shape it into a cone kind of shape before cutting off the top part. Once you've done that, you can then position the body and the head together and then blend the join. Next, we're going to be making the legs. So to do this, take your base colour and roll it into a teardrop shape and then cut it off so that it has a flat edge. You'll then want to attach on a small ball of brown clay on the end and then just roll it on your work surface to help join them together. Go ahead and make four of these for all of the legs and then just position these onto the body where you would like them. I placed two on the front and then two on either side so it looks like my goat is in a sitting position. Lastly for the tail, make a flat teardrop similar to what we did for the ears and then also create a small teardrop out of tan clay and then just connect these together. Then you can go ahead and attach it onto the back of the body. Add an eye pin if you'd like to make it into a charm and then you can bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. If you do want your goat to look more like an adult goat rather than a sheep, you can also add a goatee, but of course this is optional. After baking, I secured the eye pin with some super glue and then I also added a coat of resin as my glaze for extra protection and shine. And there you have it, that is how I made my kawaii goat charm. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.